alien life is not only astronomically improbable, but at its most basic level, downright anti-Darwinian. Scully, what are you wearing? <laughs> Probably right. I'm sorry to bother you. It's no bother. Bye. Hello? I think you better get up here. What is it? It appears the cockroaches are mortally attacking people. I'm not going to ask you if you just said what I think you just said because I know it's what you just said. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry, mommy. I don't know what to tell you, Mulder. I just hope you're not implying you've come across an infestation of killer cockroaches. Mulder, you're not thinking about trespassing on the government property again, are you? I know that you've done it in the past, but I don't think that this case it's warrants. Too late. I'm already inside. <sighs> Mulder, what's going on? Gotta go. Mulder. May I ask why you're trespassing? I don't feel so good. Does my scientific detachment disturb you? No. No, actually, I, I find it quite refreshing. Good. Not now. Mulder, are you okay? I can't sleep. What happened at the USDA site? They're conducting legitimate experiments. I met an entomologist, Dr. Barenbaum, who agrees with your theory of an accidental importation of a new cockroach species. Did he give you any idea of how to catch him? No, but she did tell me everything else there is to know about insects. She? Yeah, did you know that the ancient Egyptians worshipped the scarab beetle and possibly erected the pyramids to honor them, which may just be giant symbolic dung heaps? Did you know the inventor of the flush toilet was named Thomas Crapper? Bambi also has this theory I've never come across. Who? Dr. Barenbaum. Anyway, her, her name is Bambi?